League leaders Real Bedford journey south today for a county clash where the Pirates aim to make that end of year throne any bit shinier. And Real Bedford are actually fully unchanged except for the fact that Classen Gordon makes his return to the bench ahead of Ben Walsh. Other than that, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Ahmed let it skip past him. Charlie Milton has given it away to Stevens. Well, what about that from Ben Stevens? I don't think anyone can believe their eyes, including me. Well, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but what a strange goal. Wood has lost it in a uh, little run up the pitch. Setchell. Josh Setchell. Back into Ahmed. Good touch from Ahmed. Stevens. And now Galatis collects it. Good little interplay from Real Bedford so far up the pitch. And he's lost it to Dan Hammer. Now Hadi. Scott Metcalf is in behind here. Metcalf. And it's right at McGregor. I think that's fair. Jones. Evans. Jerry Evans. It's hit the post. This is that Jerry Evans chance. As I was saying, we all thought that was going in. Jero nearly and a uh, good chance of possession. Adam Draculic is down as we speak, but Ahmed is in. Ahmed over to Josh Setchell, who scores Bedford second. Amir Hadi taking it past Richardson Hadi Shefford showing they have their talents Watkins very rough and it's worked out for Bedford in the end Smith all the way on over to Setchell now Jones and Stevens again. The anticipation, watching that go in, mirrored, I think, the first goal. Once again, nestling tight into that bottom corner. Charlie Smith had the vision. Now Watkins gets hold of it. Here's Ahmed poking it through to Archie Jones. Ahmed into the path of Jones again. Setchell. There's their fourth. Rail Bedford keep climbing higher and Josh Setchell all the time in the world to finish that one. Pay hey, Irish and Real Bedford back to back is quite the task. They've had St. Pantelimon recently as well. <laughs> Stevens, could it be their fifth? 
Gladys watches it go in again. It's another from Ben Stevens. He's the hat trick today. The hat trick hero. As it Richie Jones showing some real fight there. Giving it all to win it back. Setchell. Stevens. Sticking it to his feet. Now Ahmed. Mo Ahmed. And there's another for Real Bedford. This time it's six. Equaling the score they got against Crawley Green last time out. And this time they've only Richardson. got... Evans and try and find Gordon you nearly had the right idea there going round Charlie Milton himself and trying to find the ball on the other side Setchell Josh Setchell who picks up his hat trick he's done all the work to give himself an easy finish there and it's now 7-0 in the dying embers of this game. Two hat-tricks in one match. Another pretty easy finish for Josh Setchell, but it, as I said, he's done all the work. And... There's no time for the free kick because that is full time. And 7-0 is the scoreline. One goal away from letting it be their highest win ever, Real Bedford.